Hello everyone, I'm Prathamesh Jaju, your Astro Buddy, and today I'm going to show you how to use this amazing telescope, the Pymetrix Helix. So this telescope again is a reflector telescope, and if you haven't installed this telescope yet, please click on the link above. So this telescope is divided into three parts, the optical tube, the tripod, and the special mount, which is the equatorial mount. With other telescopes like Pegasus and Griffin, we have used altitude and azimuth mounts. But with this telescope, we have used an equatorial mount. Equatorial mounts are much widely used for astrophotography. So I'll show you how it works. It is a bit complicated, but I'll make it easy for you. To set up an equatorial mount, we have to follow a few steps. The first is to align the mount towards the north direction. That means this side point should be pointing towards the north. This side should be pointing towards the south. You can confirm this by using the compass app and align it. Okay, this is aligned. After aligning the mount in the north and south direction, we have to set the latitude. You can simply search the latitude of your location and set it. So I'm living in Delhi right now and using it from Delhi. So the Delhi's latitude is 28 degrees. So I'm going to move the screw and put it to 28. So if you can see here, it is 28 degrees. And now we are moving towards the next part of our setup, which is balancing the telescope. Once we have attached the optical tube to the equatorial mount, we have to balance the setup. So let's give it a try by moving the telescope like this. As you can see, the telescope is not balanced. The counterweight is heavier than the optical tube, which means the weight distribution is not even. So we'll try moving the counterweight upwards. And now we'll try again. As you can see, the telescope is now balanced with the counterweight and it is ready for observations. Now that you have learned how to set up the equatorial mount, we'll see how it works. So there are different parts of the equatorial mount. First one is the counterweight, then there are the screws, and then there are the slow motion knobs. So first, first we'll loosen the screws. I've loosened up the screws. This time I'm thinking of pointing this telescope towards the planet Saturn. You can point it to any other object that you want with different apps like Stellarium or Skylight, which will help you locate the planets and even different astronomical objects. So, but I'm pointing it towards Saturn because it is one of my favorite objects in the night sky. So first, we loosen the screws and I know that Saturn is somewhere over here. I'll just point it roughly. Then with the help of the red dot finder, I'll bring Saturn in the center of the finder. Use this to turn on the red dot finder scope. I'll slowly tighten the screws so that the telescope is steady. And after this, through the eyepiece, we are going to see where exactly Saturn is. And with the slow motion knobs, we can slowly move the telescope without any bumps. and I have bought Saturn at the center of the telescope. After this, I am going to try focusing Saturn. Wow, it looks beautiful. And now we have planet Saturn in our telescope. To view Saturn, we have used a much smaller eyepiece, the 6mm eyepiece because it helps us in seeing Saturn at a, at a greater magnification. To take pictures of planet Saturn, we are going to use this mobile phone adapter that is provided with the kit. To use this mobile phone adapter, we are first going to attach the mobile phone to the adapter. Then we are going to align it. And then we are just going to simply tighten the screws. And done. Now we are going to open the camera and I can already see Saturn and I can just take pictures of it. I'm sure you must have taken a lot of amazing pictures with the Helix telescope and this was all about it. If you have any doubts or feedback, let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much and happy stargazing. And don't forget to put your dust cap back on because it protects your telescope from dust and moisture. Happy stargazing!